The video explains about the design and analysis of subthreshold logic using carbon nano field effect transistors in cadence watch so subthreshold logic uses input and supply voltage less than vth to achieve low power for a typical 32 nanometer cnt fed the threshold voltage are listed here these are the chiral vectors 19,0 indicates it is a low threshold device and 13,0 indicates it is a standard device and 10,0 indicates it is a high threshold device so i am going to utilize 19,0 13 comma 0 and 10 comma 0 as the n type and p type transistor for threshold mm. sub threshold logic to check the object properties of the p type check the verilog model it has a chiral vector of 19 comma 0 therefore the threshold voltage of ncn fet is 0 0.289 and for pcn fet it is minus 0 0.289 volt similarly for n type the chiral vector is 10 comma 0 so for 10 comma 0 it is a high threshold voltage. So I am going to utilize both of this. Check and save the design. Providing a input voltage or supply voltage of 0 0.3 volt or 300 millivolt. And the input is a pulse with a voltage of 0 0.3 period of the pulse is 20 nanosecond and rise time fall time along with the pulse width so i am providing an input voltage of 0.3 volt and here it is 0 0.3 so these are the threshold voltages go to the launch and i am providing the capacitor with 0 0.1 femtofarad because the circuit is operated in a sub threshold so the capacitive load is also very low check and save the design go to the launch click on ADL add the analysis I want to perform the simulation for 100 nanoseconds. Click on moderate. Click on DC analysis. Save operating point. Select the component parameter. The supply is from the same, which is 300 millivolt. I want to start the sweep from 0 to 0 0.3 in steps of 0 0.01 click on apply two analysis are loaded then click on edit plot the input output as well as the instantaneous current that is drawn by this circuit click ok once these are done just click on netlist and run these are the responses for the values that we have provided for 19 comma 0 and 10 comma 0 for n type and observe that the dc response has shifted from the midpoint it should be actually at this point the crossing has to be done at exactly the midpoint 
which is here around 1 150 millivolt now i'll try to change this parameters go to the circuit select the p type transistor then change the chiral vector to 13 comma 0 and number of cnt tubes to 2 similarly this also with 13 comma 0 check and save the design and observe that for 13 comma 0 the threshold voltage is r 0 0.4 and minus 0 0.4 for pcn fit but I am providing the input voltage which is less than the threshold voltage at the supply as well as the input. Now check and save the design, rerun the simulation. It has added much parameters that is by selecting the various parameters in the ADL. So I want to eliminate all of this. Only input, output, and the current drop. Observe that this is the transient response. It is the characteristics of a inverter. When the input is high the output is low and for low the output is high. So this is the typical characteristics during the transient analysis. Let me check the DC response. This is also ok. That means the crossing is exactly at 150 millivolts. So now I can say that this inverter is operating in the subthreshold condition. Now I want to find the power, the average power that is drawn by this. For that, let me rerun the simulation. Use the transient power. Send it to calculator, then multiply this instantaneous current with a supply voltage which is a VDC of 0 0.3 volt, enclose within the parenthesis, then use the function called average, then evaluate the buffer to see the value. Now it is 451 picowatts which is very very low. Now send it to the EDL window for evaluation. Just close this. You can see that you have a expression here. Name it as average power. Click on OK. Now you rerun the simulation for this. It is having a average power of 451 pico watts. In a similar manner, I will try to explain how to evaluate the delay. the delay between these two. You can find it here at for 50% duty cycle, press M and set it to half the voltage which is for 300 it is 150. Then press D it is having a delay of 
because it's just a one, 143, you can round it up to 150. And similarly, you can find the delay by using this and again use the marker for the not marker use D select this and press D then you have two values the first one is 1.46 and this is 1.39 perform the average then you will get the delay or go to the tools use the calculator Select the transient voltage, copy this from the functions, use the delay. In a similar manner, copy the V out. Want to find the delay between V in and V out. Half of the value is 0 0.15. Both the thresholds are set to half the inputs. And observe that the input is in a rising. Input is in a rising. Output is in a falling. And the voltage is around 300 millivolts. So keep the edge type to be rising and this one as falling. Click on OK. You have the delay expression. Evaluate this. It is 1.422 nanoseconds. Send it to the ADL. Again one more time. Click on calculator. Let me erase all of this. Click on VT. Select input. Tools. Calculator. Copy the V in, use the delay function, change the name to V out, this time change this to falling and this one to rising, click on OK. Then evaluate it. Again, it is representing 1.432 nanoseconds. Send it to the ADL window. You have a ADL window with the 2. So you can change this name to TPDF. And this one TPDR. Add a new expression, name it as TPD and the expression is average of TPDR plus TPDF by 2. Now just rerun the simulation to evaluate all of these values. You have the average value, average power and the propagation delay between input and output.